Do you like high-end decor, but you don't want to spend a lot of money? You're at the right place. Today, I got super easy dupes for you, and I only spent a couple of dollars, and I'm going to show you how easy I made all of this. Hello, my darlings. I am C, and this is CJ DIY. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I saw these natural wood lanterns and creative barrels for $89 on sale, but I decided to make my own version. I'm using three tumbling towers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to open up the boxes and I'm going to start creating those lanterns. We're going to make a smaller one and a larger one exactly like the one on the pictures from Crate and Barrels. For the smaller lantern I'm going to need seven frames. Each frame has 12 blocks and four borders, it's going to be six blocks. For the large lantern, I'm going to need 10 frames, which is going to be 12 blocks and four borders. For the large lantern, the borders will be eight blocks. All together, I'm going to need 260 blocks, which is three tower blocks boxes from Dollar Tree and that's going to cost me 375. To make the frames, I'm just putting the blocks together around this metal ruler to make them straight and then I'm gonna glue them. I suggest to use a wood glue so you can have a sturdy position. For mine, I'm using a hot gorilla glue which is work perfect but I would still suggest to use a wood glue. Now that I made all the frames and the borders, first I'm going to add some wax on them to stain them and then we're going to add them together. And simple as that, we're going to have an amazing look that we didn't spend $90 for it. I'm using a gel stain that I got a long time ago from Dollar Tree and with a wipe I'm just going all over around all the frames and the borders. You can also use antique wax, whatever you prefer and you have in your crafting stash. Now that they're all nice and stained and dry, we're going to add them together. I grab the first frame and the borders and we're going to glue the borders with the first frame first. On each corner, I'm adding the borders, I'm gluing them make sure it's all nice and sturdy before I add the rest of the borders. I'm doing the same way with the second border, gluing it and the other two on the other corners of the border. Super simple and easy decor and I think it's gonna look super cute when we make it all. Now that I connect the borders, it's going to be super easy. I'm going to slide all the rest of the frames throughout the borders slowly, just like that. I don't need to glue them, I just need to slide them throughout the borders. Now that I got all the frames around the borders, I'm going to glue the top frame with the borders as well. So we're going to have so far glue the bottom border and the top, just like that. To make it more sturdy, I'm going to add those clips around those tumbling block towers and now when we got the top and the bottom i'm gonna slide the rest of the borders and see where i'm gonna glue them i'm just using that ruler just to see 
what distance I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna glue them on each side and make sure they're all nice and sturdy. Now when it's all nice and glued, I also added some clips on the bottom and I'm gonna let it on the side. I'm gonna repeat the same step for the large tower. I don't need to board you, so you can watch the same process, but pretty much that's it for this project. And I added some LED candles inside. You can add some greeneries, anything you like. And I think this looks super cute. And on the corner is the crate barrel ones. Today I'm so happy that I'm a part of another What Would You Make Challenge hosted by my amazing darling friends Zaina from OK at Home DIY, Connie from Connie's Creative Creations and this month guest host is Marika from Marika Creations. If you haven't visited their channels by now, I don't even know why you're waiting for. All their links are in my description box, along with the amazing playlist with super talented creators. And I cannot wait to see what everyone made out of wood today. To some of you, doesn't mean anything, but to us means a lot because we spend a lot of times creating all those beautiful creations and gives you lots of inspirations. So I would like for you to show a lots of love to all. If you're one of my darlings, you know that I'm obsessed with trays and this time I'm going to make another wooden tray. I saw this tray at Kirkland's and look at the prices. And this one is from Wayfair and I'm going to make my own just for a couple of dollars. I found this wooden round from thrift store for only five dollars and change. And after I'm going to remove the price tag, I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to transform it to look like one of those trays. To darken my wood, I'm going to use a Rust-Oleum gel stain and with a towel I'm going over on top and on the bottom. Now when it's all nice and covered, I'm going with a wet towel around and then just to give that distressed look, I'm just going to sand it out just a little bit because I really love how it came out. Look at all that details on that wood. I just love. I love wood and I think this tray looks just perfect. Now when it's all nice and dry, we're going to be adding some handles. I got those handles from my local store. I got them last year and they were like 25 cents each, but you can always find handles in your local Hobby Lobby, Loaves, Home Depot, any kind of store that we are getting our crafts from. I'm measuring with a marker when I'm gonna drill the holes before I add the bolts. And now with my gun, I'm gonna drill holes when I'm gonna add the bolts in there. Now that I got the holes on each side, I'm gonna add the bolts and we're gonna add the handles. I'm gonna be using one of those larger bolts because this wood is so thick 
make sure my bolts are long enough and we're gonna start from the bottom and with the gun and the screwdriver To add those handles were super easy as soon as we got the bolts on and to finalize and make it more sturdy I want to make sure using the screwdriver and the gun at the end. Every time when I try to do a voiceover my little troublemaker Fiki gotta be next to me and always he needs to distract me. As you can hear him he's bothering me and asking for snack and it's like two o'clock in the morning. And here is the final look, mine versus theirs. For the next dupe, I was inspired by this little bunny. I really like it. And I'm gonna make my own version. I'm using four wooden bunny cutouts from Dollar Tree. First, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the tail and the ears from the three of them from the last one i just left it as it is and now when the bunny tail and the ears are removed i'm gonna glue them together to make a nice thicker bunny for our decor you can use any wood glue or a crazy glue to get them together and make a nice sturdy bunny stand To make all the planks nice and sturdy, I'm just adding clips on the side and I'm just going to leave it for a couple of hours on the side. When it's all nice and dry, I added a gel stain and also I'm going to be adding this stencil that I got in my crafting stack. It's a plate stencil. That I got it on clearance. I'm also adding adhesive spray so my paint won't bleed through. As you're watching my channel, you know that I like to use my adhesive spray at non adhesive stencils. And now I'm just gonna add one corner of this stencil on top of my bunny, just like that. Make sure it's all nice and sticky before I apply the paint. I'm adding one of those folk art paints. I'm not sure which color. It's like a creamish, yellowish light color. And with a sponge, I'm just dabbing around the stencil and covering my bunny with all those designs. And super cute and easy, only for a couple of dollars, we got our beautiful Easter bunny. What do you think? Up, 
I saw this beautiful bunny banner at Kirkland's, but I wanted to make my own version. And as you can see, this here is the natural wooden color trending, and I wanted to make something like that today. I grabbed those burlap banners from Dollar Tree. Super cute, I was surprised. And those mini wooden cutout bunnies, just perfect. And I wanted to see which of those banners I'm gonna be using. And I think those triangles look just perfect. And I'm gonna be adding those beautiful bunny wooden cutouts. Except those bunnies are a darker colors and with the burlap didn't look good. But on the other side, if you flip them, you have that natural wooden color on that bunny. And that's the side that I'm gonna use. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting the tails and I'm gonna flip off the bunny at the natural look and i'm gonna add those tails pom-poms on that natural look side for each triangle banner we're gonna need a bunny so we need six of them i'm just gonna see where i'm gonna add them and also i'm gonna add those pom-pom back is the tail on that wooden natural side of the bunny and i think it's gonna look super high-end very neutral rustic look modern farmhouse look and i really love it And my darlings, we came to the end. This is my final reveal. And I think it looks super beautiful, very high-end. I showed you today that you don't need to spend the fortune for this look. Just for a couple of bucks, you can make this decor and make your house to look very high-end, made with lots of love. And my darlings, don't forget to check out the amazing playlist by amazing darling friends Zena, Connie, Marika and all those amazing creators in this playlist with lots of inspiration. And until next time, which is going to be Tuesday, I am having two amazing videos on Tuesday for you. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy, blessings from me to you. Bye-bye.